You've heard of the 300 Spartans, right? The legendary story of the Battle of Thermopylae when 300 Spartans stood against the entire Persian army. Though actually there were over 7,000 Greeks with the Spartans against over 100,000 Persians, but those are still impossible odds, which is why they all died. Still, the battle remains one of the most famous conflicts in history, with two films about the Spartans, one in 1962 and the other in 2007. Do not watch that movie. Even more amazing than the 300 Spartans were the 300 Israelites. Do you know that story? Centuries before Thermopylae, the 300 Israelites, led by Gideon, went up against an army of Midianites so large you couldn't count their camels. Gideon's 300 defeated 120,000 Midianites and did not lose a single man. They later killed another 15,000 and struck down both of Midian's kings. Yet world history is enamored with 300 Spartans who did not succeed without even a glance at Gideon and his men. What gives? Consider the word of God. Gideon started with 32,000 men, but God said, The people with you are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hand, lest Israel boast over me, saying, My own hand has saved me. He reduced the number to 300 so everyone would know it is God who saves his people and strikes down his enemies. Psalm 10 says the wicked renounce the Lord and do not seek him. All their thoughts are there is no God. So why would the world favor a story about 300 defeated pagans instead of 300 who succeeded by the hand of God? Because they hate God when we understand the text.